From a secret location, it's the Tom Likas Show. It's only entertainment. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Well, it's coming soon. It's Halloween. And once again, the opportunity every year that plump women have for squeezing into those French maid outfits, thinking that we think they're sexy. It's an opportunity for women to dress like whores, prostitutes, pinup girls, sluts, whores. Did I say whores? Whores, sluts. In fact, uh, the uh, the recent developments in Halloween are that girls as young as 10 and 11 are dressing in so-called sexy outfits. They are dressing up like little sluts and whores. And coming to your door. I don't understand this. It happens every year. You know, when I was a kid, people dressed up like ghosts and what's a goblin? Goblins. <laughs> women, girls. Well, first of all, men and women didn't dress up for Halloween when I was a child. Your parents were not out there in costume. Your parents were taking you by the hand to go trick-or-treating. and They were driving you around the neighborhood. Your mom wasn't walking around like a French maid. Dragging her daughter around the neighborhood dressed like uh, <laughs> some kind of sleazy whore. And that's what it's turned into now. It's the holiday where women can feel free to dress like sleazy whores. I've said on this program for many years that Halloween parties are great if you're an unattached guy and you want to pick up chicks. But I have no idea why any straight male in a relationship would want to go to a Halloween party. Because it's nothing more than an excuse for your wife or girlfriend to dress like a big slut. I mean, if you really need to dress like a big slut, why wait for Halloween? Why do you need an excuse? Dress like a big slut every day of the week. Go for it, girls. You, know, you want to dress like a big slut? Why don't you do that tomorrow? Why don't you do it a month from tomorrow? Dress like a big whore. Walk around. Dress like a, you know, sleazy French maid. By the way, I've been to France. I've never seen one of these French maids the way women dress up on Halloween. It's a total stereotype. But uh, I have never understood this. First of all, the vast majority of women who think they're dressing sexy on Halloween are just simply fat and ugly. And somehow, like going to the Renaissance Fair, that gives license to the fat and fuglies out there to dress, uh, quote-unquote, sexy. Don't waste your time, girls. Uh, we, as uh, straight men, uh, know exactly what you are. You're fat and fugly. No need to go out there and dress like a sleazeball, a slut, or a whore. Keep that fat covered up. And um, while I am not currently married, I don't live with anyone. <laughs> if I did, I would not want to be with somebody who wanted to go around dressed like that. And I would not understand why she would need to go out dressed like that to show off to other people. Or to go to a party. To me, the purpose of a Halloween party is to hook up. Why would a couple go to a Halloween party where you are dressed like, I don't know, you know, uh, a guy from uh, Wall Street in the 1940s or, you know, dressed like Batman or whatever, and she's dressed like some whore. I don't get it. Can somebody explain all of this to me, please? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's 
It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5-800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. And here I am looking at uh, a website that uh, Art sent to me. And uh, there it is. Oh, yes, the... uh, <laughs> the plus size designs. <laughs> and here we go. You got the schoolgirl outfit, the bad schoolgirl outfit. The detention darling. This is wonderful. We ought to put this on our website so people can see this. The detention darling. Boy, oh boy. Look at how much fat is showing there. Oh, God almighty. Do women really think they're sexy when they dress like this? Oh, the school girl with that gut hanging out? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is amazing stuff. Uh, I do not understand it. I do not understand what's going on here. Please explain it. one eight hundred five eight hundred. 800 tom It's Susan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Susan Hello? on the... Yes, are you busy over there? No, I'm right here. When do you plan to start speaking? I'm going to start. I didn't realize I was on the air. Okay. Hi, Tom. Um, this is the first time I've listened to you today, and I really enjoyed the political part. And I know we're on a new subject now, and that's what I want to talk about. So um, I think you're trying to provoke us females, and you succeeded with me. And I just want to ask you, Tom, why do you celebrate guys hooking up? And I don't think there's anything wrong with hooking up. But then you call women sluts. And I have no... Wait up. a minute. First of all, darling, it's not necessary to call a man a slut because we're all sluts. Okay. Uh, as long that's as number you one. admit it. That's number two. But, uh, darling, uh, God, that you're obviously new to the show. I've, I've admitted this for years. I am new to the show. I'm a big slut, okay? Okay, The thing great. is that men don't have to wait for October 31st to dress up and advertise. Okay, I agree with you there. I have no pro- Yeah, I'm right with you there. I just wanted to make sure it's equal opportunity here. Darling, uh, men are sluts. Why do women need to advertise it on October 31st? That's a great question. I, that, I have never been able to figure that one out either, though. But I have another question with, for you. How come, if men are sluts as well, there isn't really a word? I mean, you and I are now calling men sluts, but we all know that. Men are not usually called sluts. It's That's celebrated. because it's redundant. You know, darling, you guys- darling, darling, wait a minute. Hang on a second. It's redundant. Uh, come on. It's redundant. But no, that's not fair. You all need to develop a word for it that's derogatory because we know that slut and Darling, I don't, you don't understand. I don't see being a slut as derogatory. I'll tell you what. If I, if I meet you, I hope you're a slut. Are you, you're being disingenuous. No, I'm not at all. In fact, I pray that if we ever meet, you will be a slut. <laughs> okay. Nothing negative about it. Well, I want to believe you, Tom. I hope you're telling the truth. I'll tell you what. Come on over here and I'll show you. No crush on you anyway. Bye. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Danielle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. It's Danielle. How are you? Doing great. I just love you. I I just, just uh, yesterday I was looking through these damn catalogs. What is it? Slutville? What is this? I'm a a marriage and family therapist, and I'm like, I think it's low self-esteem is what I think it is. Well, I, I certainly think there's got to be something like that going on. Uh, oh. By the way, I always encourage men to uh, do nothing to bolster their woman's self-esteem or the women they meet. Because what? if a woman had high self-esteem, she wouldn't have sex with me or most of us, for that matter. That's true. <laughs> Damn, Skippy. No, you need a little bit of intelligence. Uh, no, a little. Uh, really? To have sex? No, no. No, no. not really. Oh, heavens, no. To have a relationship, if you were going to have a relationship, maybe. Right, yeah, uh, but to have maybe. sex, uh, you know what? Uh, the intelligence is an irritant. Yes, I get that. Because you, people, people, women who are intelligent can't shut up about the fact that they are intelligent. Right. Exactly. So, yeah, a lot of, lot of crazy costumes. Nothing nice to pick from. Have you looked at some of these web pages? I, yes, it's crazy. Horrible. The ones that you're just talking about, I, I just saw all of those, the same ones. 
horrible with a capital W. Yes, and it's gross. <laughs> so true. Oh, my I God. You, I just look at these women. I see the stink of death. I see, uh, you know, flop sweat. These women are trying a little too hard to let us know what whores they are. It's gross. Do it all year. Exactly what you said before. If you're going to do it, do it tomorrow. That's do right. it all the time if that's what you want to do. That's right. Walk down the street like a friggin' whore. Go ahead. True. Well, I love you, and I'm going to teach my... I have a daughter. She's eight. Her name's Hannah, and I'm going to have her listen to you. Sounds good to me. Later. But you know what I mean. Yes. I used to teach, used to teach um, at, a, at a high school, too. And I told the boys, young boys, I worked with young boys, and I'm like, listen to Tom Likas. Do not get your girlfriend pregnant. All that stuff. Oh, they just think it's the end thing. I don't know. It's just... Ruin your life, capital. Well, because they sit there watching all these things about baby bumps and stuff, and they just think it's fantastic. Oh, it's crazy. But I'm just very supportive of you. It's cool to talk to you. My first time calling in. I love in. it. it sounds good to me. I've to you for about five years at least. Wow. Yeah. But you can call me anytime, Danielle. Very cool. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Raina on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. It's Raina. I know. I just said that. Oh, sorry. I, I heard you say that. I just wanted to say that. Thank you so much for bringing up this topic. It just drives me nuts. Not only Halloween, but all year long to see these fat, ugh, whatever you want to call them, walking around. And spandex, number one for me, should be outlawed when I see these women. By the way, these are the same fatties. Can I tell you something? These are the same fatties uh, who go to the Renaissance Fair. Have you ever seen the Renaissance Fair? I Unfortunately, I have. It's pretty sad yes. sight to see. And the Renaissance Fair every year is when fat, fugly, and geeky women uh, have an excuse uh, to buy yards and yards of fabric and tie themselves up in corsets and have their fat squirting out. And they were walking around eating corn dogs and Indian fry bread and showing themselves off to the geeky uh, science nerds who can't get laid any other way. Yeah, and they actually think they look good, Tom. That's the sick thing about it. I know. There should be a law against that, seriously. Well, I agree with that. All right. Anybody well, wants to be wanted... a slut, just be a slut. Don't, you don't have to wait for a holiday. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> but unless you're fat, don't do it at all. Right. <laughs> All right, Tom, I'm let you go. I love you. Darling, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Deja on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Deja. <laughs> I can't believe I'm on the air with you. Yes. I have to tell you, I have a bittersweet feeling about you. I, I get so irritated sometimes when I listen to you because I see what you do when you talk to, the, to your callers. But I don't see anything wrong with the fat people dressing the way they want to. Anything wrong? Oh, they have every right to dress the way they want to, but they are delusional if they think the rest of us think they look sexy. But but it's okay. Let them. You're very little. But I just wanted to announce, ladies, we know how fat you are. And when you expose all that fat in a French maid outfit or a schoolgirl uniform, trust me. <laughs> We're behind your back. We're laughing our asses off. Do you know what I do with my cell phone? I actually take pictures of these girls when they're not looking. <laughs> well, so I can okay. show them to my friends, like, look at this. Can you believe she thinks that's hot? Look at this. I did. By the way, I was in England in September, and there was a chick with a tube top. She, and she had that muffin top thing going on. <laughs> Okay. And, by the way, on top of that, as if the muffin top was not enough, a, a big tat above her ass crack. Okay. <laughs> okay. A big, well, you big know fat British me. girl. Big fat <laughs> British girl. And I still have this photo that I took near Buckingham Palace. It was fantastic. <laughs> this okay. woman thought she was sexy. This woman, Miss Muffin Top, was walking around London thinking she was all that. It was so funny. So, yes, yes, do the fat and fuglies have the right to go out on October 31st and, and, and dress with as little uh, clothing on as they can get away with legally? Well, they have the right to do it, but God forbid they should be so delusional as to think that straight men think it's hot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to 
say that it looks hot, but I think that if they want to, they should, and I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, but People they think, want to. They want to because it's based on a delusion. But they want to do it because they think straight men are looking at them with their tongues hanging out. Well, what about the skinny girls? Do you think it's, it's, it's bad for the skinny girls to wear really hot outfits on Halloween, too? I think the whole thing is silly. It's it's funny. If you ever wanted to see how desperately women compete with each other, Halloween is like the ultimate. That's not necessarily... Well, okay. Yes, maybe yes, yes, yes. That's not the reason why most girls do it. That is the reason they do it. if you dress like a slut. That is the reason so they do it. That's the re They're competing with the other girls. No, look, I, I'm going to dress up really sexy, but it's because it gives me an opportunity to dress really sexy. I can't wear that. Why do you need an opportunity? Why can't you do that on, uh, you know, March 12th? Because you look stupid to be wearing a hooker outfit. Why do you need to, by the way, it's fitting. why do you need to wear a hooker outfit? I don't get it. It doesn't need to be a hooker outfit. It could be anything that's really sexy. But you like just so said a hooker outfit. outfit. Why it's would you fun. need why to wear it? But why do people dress in costumes in the first place? Uh, right? well, uh, well, again, uh, uh, you know, uh, as uh, I yeah, said, no, no, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you over the last 20 years, this has, <laughs> this has definitely changed. Halloween was for children. Okay. <laughs> and now what you have is a bunch of overgrown children as adults who, uh, it all started with Elvira doing Coors Light commercials and encouraging people to go out and buy beer for Halloween. This is where it started. This is where it started. And then all of a sudden, Halloween was a holiday for fat and fugly chicks to run around dressed in skimpy clothing. No, adults have always had no, social gatherings. Not with true. People dressing not to up. The, not like this. No, it, it was never like this. It was <laughs> never like this. Never. So, but see, here's the thing. You, you're okay with it if it's a really hot girl and you hope that she's a slut. No, I'm actually, because... no. You know what? I, I think the whole thing is silly. Uh -huh. I do think it's a shame if you're delusional enough when you're fat and fugly to think that men find you attractive. But you wouldn't think it was silly if some really hot girl in a really tiny outfit was hitting But a hot, a hot girl would not have to wear a Halloween costume to get my attention. You wouldn't tell her that she looks silly if she's really gorgeous. I, I would never tell a woman she looks silly. I would say it behind her back. You know, <laughs> I would, but I say it behind her back. I wouldn't say it to her face. Oh, that's even better, right? Because I don't want to get into a big debate about it. That's the thing about you is like you say all of these things, but you never have the guts to really say anything. Oh no, it's not that I don't have the guts. I don't want to waste my day having an argument. Uh, but you do waste your day. Your whole show. I'm is telling right women right now. You know what? If you have to ask if you look fat in that outfit, it's because you are fat. <laughs> Okay, well, what about guys? guys I'm are speaking on behalf costumes. of all the beleaguered boyfriends and husbands out there who get asked all the time, uh, do I look fat in these pants? Do I look fat okay. in this dress? Yes, you do. <laughs> but who are you to say? Who are you to say what's good and what's not? What's hot and what's not? You're not uh, even hot yourself, Tom. I'm, I, yeah, I don't. I don't I, uh, but I don't go around. I don't go around wearing revealing outfits. You see, you go around talking about people. And That's, how but, because you I don't go around. Life. I don't go around letting fat rolls hang out for people to to make judgments about me. You see, exactly. You're crazy. And that's what these guys. What these girls do. They are under the delusion that somebody thinks those fat rolls are sexy. <laughs> okay. Well, we're talking about sexiness and women and how they dress and this and that. You put all the focus on women. What about guys? What about guys? I don't see guys running around uh, uh, dressed. Uh, you know, Hi, I'm Flea for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Look, I'm wearing a sock. I don't see that. So you're saying that it's not okay for girls to try to be sexy, but then it's okay for guys. I didn't say it's. I, I said if you are sexy, you don't need to wear a costume. Yeah, but the whole point that I'm trying to make is that you, since it goes back to like the guy versus girl thing that you have going on your show, is that it's it's a it's a double standard because women, if they try to look sexy and they're fat and they're not that hot, then you knock them. But if it's some ugly guy calling about how she should try to bang three girls and and not take them to dinner and this and that, then you, then you commend that. That's has, that. these are, you're comparing apples and oranges. One has nothing to do with the other. But it does because it's the idea. No, that it you, doesn't. You can, criticize women in that sense, but then you don't criticize people in the other way. I have criticized guys for any number of reasons, but but guys just want to get laid, okay? That's what guys want. That's what they want. And they don't dress up, uh, you know, in, in skimpy outfits and run around in the street going, look at me, look at me. The, the place they do that is West Hollywood. Let them. Let them feel sexy if they feel sexy. I don't Again, think that there's anything wrong with it. Again, straight men don't do that. 
Well, you don't do a lot of things, and, and <laughs> you frustrate me a lot. Not today, but when I listen to you, because I'm always listening to you. Know you, need? you know what you need? You need my hand, a big crack on your ass. That's what you need. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-8666. The Tom Likas Show. Like show. It's the Tom Likas Show, now with the shortest commercial breaks ever. At one 800 800 tom By the way, go to blowmeuptom.com right now and see the list of <laughs> costumes for the fat and fugly. There's a website that sells these. You can go to our website, blowmeuptom.com. Get a look at the pictures of the fatties. Take a look. one 800 800 tom It's Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. I got a theory on why they're doing that. The whole thing is Halloween's supposed to be a scary holiday. And so you got all these big fat and fuglies thinking they can use that as an excuse to just go bust in their cheese all over the place. And then you add a little bit of beer and a little bit of alcohol and they get a little bit more free about the whole thing because it is supposed to be a scary holiday. Maybe, maybe that might be their delusional thought that's working for him. I don't know, man. Now, instead of ghosts and goblins, the fat and fuglies run around in skimpy attire. You you might be right. Maybe the idea is to go boo and to be really effective. It's scary. It's scary, Tom. I'll tell you, I've been to some parties, man. I, uh, you know, I'm thinking about this right now. I think it's a great idea. The whole thing is, is you got to cover up your face. That way they can't see you making eye contact with them because they may have that delusional thought. You're looking at their cheese and they think you want some of that. Absolutely. You know, it's Absolutely. Scary, Tom. That could be. By the way, have you see, have you, 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 when you get home, you've got to look at these photos. There's uh, a website uh, selling yeah. costumes to the fat and fugly girls. Oh, my. I can't do that, Tom. I'm scarred enough for life as it is, man. <laughs> you got to see it. I'm looking at it right now. Oh, man. Hey, uh, I got to make this quick because I'm on my way to my drug diversion class. Can you take me out with a bong load and blow me up? <laughs> of course I can. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number on the Tom Likas Show. Carla, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. You know, I love this topic because, first of all, I'm a Latina. So, for some reason, Latinas love the muffin tops. And they love to show it all off, even though they should just cover it up because it is really disgusting. So, you know how it goes. Some of them just do not have the body to be wearing that stuff. But aside from that, to take this into a little darker side, the problem coming with these costumes now is not only do you have chubby people wearing them, is that you have the girls as young as like 10, 11, 12 wanting to wear these same slutty costumes to school. I mean, <laughs> what kind of example are we showing for these young kids when all these girls want to go off showing their little French-maid costumes with their boobs hanging out and their butt hanging out? What kind of example is that for those young kids? You know? Well, that's partly because mommy now, mommy's having kids at 17 and 18, you know, like Jamie Lynn Spears or Bristol Palin or whatever. And so now you've got 10-year-old girls where mommy is unmarried and still trying to meet a man. And she sees mommy walking around like a slut or a whore all the time, and she wants to be like mommy. It's absolutely unacceptable. It's disgusting. And just as dis disgusting as you get the fat girls wearing these costumes, these 12-year-old girls, it's equally disgusting. Some of these kids, you can't even tell whether or not they're underage. That's how bad it is. You know, and I know for you, your target audience, that's a very big warning sign there. You know, where do I go? Your target audience is looking to get laid. They get a slutty 17-, 16-year-old in these French maid costumes, and then what, jail time? Absolutely. It, it, it's ridiculous, Tom. Um, Sounds good to me. Thank you very much, much for putting me on. I'll talk to you later. All right. Make good points there. <laughs> Carla made sense. What can I say? 
one 800 tom It's Olivia on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, you're cracking me up right now. <laughs> I know that it might be a little tasteless for these fat fuglies to wear some of these costumes, but I know many of the ladies who are overweight, who are attracted, or who attract men, who like them in these three sizes too small costumes. On oh, one of them. See? <laughs> We're in the car. <laughs> Cracking me up right now. So maybe oh, that's boy. because every trash can has a lid. <laughs> I love that. That's the quote of the year. Every <laughs> he didn't say what you thought he said there, uh, Art. He didn't. I was he... going to be a slutty slapper on October 31st, but now I'm going to be like Nunn or Sarah Palin. <laughs> <laughs> and not what? only do the sluts come out on October 31st, but I know many of times in many of clubs in Los Angeles, in Las Vegas, you can find a slut every day of the night. That's absolutely right. But you are cracking this up. Well, that's good, Olivia. Fat and fuglies, man. The fat and fuglies, October 31st. That's where the fat and fuglies come out at night. That's the deal. I'll be there. <laughs> So if you're a guy and you it's, like... It's, it's, uh, I'm telling you what, October 31st, Muffin Tops on Parade. <laughs> you can find the link to your trash can, October 31st. Oh, sweet butter on top of my muffin top. Sweet butter on top of my muffin top. <laughs> we love you, Tom. Thank you so much, Olivia. There goes Olivia. Most of those muffin tops have already been buttered. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Justin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Hey, Tom. I just wanted to ask you a quick question. Uh, now, I've ax been away. going out. Well, the thing is, I've been you going can out. Ask with... me, you can ask me anything. Well, the thing is, I've been going out with my uh, girlfriend for about three and a half years already. And now, every time we used to go somewhere, she always used to dress neatly. Now that it's Halloween, she wants to expose herself. And it's not bad enough that she goes to friends with her friends all the time to knots. And you know that knot scary friend been opening? Yeah, she's been it's, going, it's been there forever, yes. She's been going there every night with her friends. Now she's telling me because I don't give her enough time, because I don't show her enough love, uh, because I don't trust her. But every time she goes somewhere, she's dressing up like a slut. Now, not only that, she don't have that nice little body, to tell you the truth. Well, first of all, what are you doing with a girlfriend at 19? Well, what am I doing with a girlfriend at 19? Yes. You know, I, I want to settle down. But why do you want to settle down at 19? Well, I don't know. Just, you know, there's, not, there's everything you go out there for now. It's either lesbians or gays or, you know, I want to, I don't know. I mean, what, what is the point at 19 years old? You know, you're not, you're not going to stay married for more than five years anyway, whenever that happens in Southern California. It's not going to happen, Justin. What is the big rush to sign a contract like that? Why don't you want to have your youth? What are you doing? Trying to find love, Tom. That's what I'm doing. And Justin, you don't need love. What you need is sex. See, even that, I don't even get no more time. Well, if you're not getting it, then you're making my point for me. Yeah. You know what? You're right. You're right. You're not getting sex. Right. Why do you have a girlfriend who doesn't put out? You absolutely do right. You're right. If you you're didn't right. have a girlfriend, you could get sex from anybody. You're right. I have nothing else to say no more, Tom. You're right. You're, you're definitely right. So uh, whether you go to Not Scary Farm with your girlfriend is not the most important thing. The question is, why do you have a girlfriend? Why do I have a girlfriend? Because I fell in love with her, Tom. Yeah, but you know what? You fell in love with her because you're a little boy. You don't understand what that's all about anyway. And frankly, at 19, you should be out there getting sex from as many different women as you can. I can't, I can't just leave her because I... Your, 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 your life expectancy now, an average in this society, is 77 years old for men. Uh, you will never stay married 58 years. 
If you need to be married, wait till later. And see, Tom, the thing is, too, I got a baby with her. Why did you do that? I have no idea, you know. Because you're an idiot. Because you're a goddamn idiot. That's why you did it. You're right, Tom. You're right. <clears throat> you're right, Tom. Oh, you're killing me. So you have a baby, and now the slutty mommy wants to go out with her friends every night. By the way, she'll be going and leaving you at home while she's out there getting the attention of other guys. You're right. Be because whether you know it or not, whether you have interest in other women or not, she has an interest in getting attention from other guys. You know, Tom, every time I look at her, you know, I try to figure out what did I find in her. And the only thing that I can figure out is my son. But other than that, she's nothing more to me. You know what? You really made my mind straight, and I'm going to go ahead and do what you told me to do. You do you know what you have to do. And yeah. you know what you have to do. Radio. Yes, I do know, Tom. Thank you very much. If you could just do me a favor, i got to go now. If you could blow me up. Yes. Yes, Justin, I can blow you up. <laughs> Tom. Like it. one 800 5800 tom It's the Tom Like It like Show. It show. The Tom Like It Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here comes Halloween. And the parties. And the chicks who are all um, just fascinated with running around out there looking like little sluts. What's that all about? 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's continue with your telephone calls here. By the way, go to uh, blowmeuptom.com. See what these fatties and fuglies look like. Anita, on the Tom Likas Hi. Show, hello. Hi, how are you? Doing great. I, I've been listening to you for a year because I just moved to California, and I love your show. I think you're hilarious, and I think you're absolutely right to start off with. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, the comment, there was some girl that called like five calls ago maybe, but in any event, she was talking about how it's okay to run around dressing skanky. Well, I'm not one of those overweight people, and I don't even dress like that, and I just feel that I, Halloween, you're absolutely right. They just, it's an excuse for women to compete and just dress as skanky as possible. That's and honestly, right. And honestly, Tom, if you dress like that on Halloween, you are a skank. So why do you try to cover it up the rest of the year? It's okay. Dress like that in March. We all know you're skanky, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't have to dress skanky for Halloween. Everybody knows. You don't have to respect for yourself. So you expect other people to respect you? No. You either have it or you don't. You know? That's right. Flat. You either that... have it or you don't. You are so right. I just think that was really funny. What do you think, Tom? Well, I totally agree with you. And uh, But again, these girls think somehow uh, that uh, this makes them look uh, hot. Dressing like skanks like that. They're not. It's so sad. I saw a lady wearing, uh, last Halloween, she had a thong and a bra on, and she was wearing a fishnet outfit. I'm like, seriously, if you came naked, it would have looked cuter, you know? At least, so, I don't know. I don't know. And the overweight people, yeah, I don't know. Tom, I just agree with you, and I'm just, oh, I hate Halloween. I dressed as a man last year, and all the girls were like, why are you dressed like a man? You know? Why don't you dress <laughs> like us? It's like, oh, my God. Whatever. I know. <laughs> Um, anything to get a little, you know, it's like women are just squirrels trying to get to the nuts, you know, just whatever it takes. <laughs> well, well, I got anyway. my, by the way, anyone who wants to do that, any of you squirrels out there, my nuts are right here. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Tom. Have a good day. <laughs> thank you, Anita. Appreciate the call. Richard on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Hey, I know exactly why why girls. By the way, before you get started here, Richard, I see you're calling from Panorama City. Have you ever seen the Panorama? Have I ever seen the Panorama? No, sir, I haven't. I don't, Just I'm curious. Not sure what that is. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, anyway, uh, the reason girls dress like that is because it's the one day of year that they they have an excuse to dress like that, and nobody can call them out and tell them they're sluts. Also, it's the, it's the one day that they uh have, they can be in shape, and that way they don't have to be fit year round. <laughs> it's like the Renaissance Fair. These fatties can walk around 
wearing quote unquote sexy outfits, and then they think the rest of us are stupid enough to think they look sexy. Exactly. I went to a costume party the other day. Some girl was wearing striped underwear, and she said she was a pirate. But there was, there was, there was stuff hanging around all the wrong places, Tom. Huh? <laughs> really? Yes, sir. Anyway, Tom, that's my time for you. Can you take me out with a bucket and then uh, Kobe style? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom Christian on the Tom Likas show. Hello, hey Tom. First and foremost, I want to say you rock, man. Thank you. Um, another thing, I got a theory on these females, man. These females, why can't they dress like that on March twelfth or something? Why do they have to be horse and slut? This goes out to all you sluts out there, you fuglies. If you're gonna dress like a slut, do it on any other day. Don't wait for um, Halloween for it to happen. You know what I'm That's saying, right. Tom? Dress like a slut when I'm out with you late at night. <laughs> okay, also, you fuggies, keep that jelly tight. Don't let her see that. I don't want to show up to a Halloween party and see fat, overweight heifers. That's what they're called, heifers. What do you think of the muffin tops, Christian? <laughs> hey, you're something else, Tom. You rock. Anyway, There's nothing there. Out. By the way, by the way, the ultimate combination is a muffin top with camel toe. You sluts, you whores. <laughs> I hope all you whores die and burn in hell. Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Kit on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Tom? How's it going? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. Listen, I, I'm a little bit uh, out of the category here. I'm a fat chick lover, man. I love the muffin top. I love the big fat bottoms. I got a buddy. You should see us cruising around North Hollywood in an old beat up Toyota Camry chasing down fat chicks, man. I love them, man. You guys are trashing on them, but best girls to get laid. Give the best. By the way, know. by the way, Kit, let me ask you a question. Just out of curiosity, you're anonymous. I don't even know if your name is Kit. All right. And by the way, if you like fat girls, make sure your last name's not Cat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, Kit, you're anonymous. How much money do you make? Uh, I make about thirty-five a year. That—that's who's after fat girls. Uh, I spend a lot of money on fat chicks, and in fact, I will take them out to pizza, ice cream. Uh, I will. Do you uh, do you ever do shakies with them? They have like that pizza buffet around uh, ten in the morning. No, I've never done that, but I've I've definitely uh, seen a big fat Shakey's. girl finish up a whole pizza in front of me. All you can eat pizza at Shakey's. Really? Oh yes. I just love the big fat bottoms, and I put a little bowl of Snickers bars right on my my coffee table in my house. And when when I bring a fatty over, I say, yeah, "Would you, would you like a Snickers bar? I'll, I'll just have one, and then she'll she'll take another one, and then another you, one." Wait, why don't you put a bowl of tater tots at the front door? Hey, I just love them. Me and my buddy, we, we love fat chicks. We chase them all around North Hollywood all the time. Cru should see us cruising, Tom. Is that where they are, North Hollywood? Oh, yeah, North Hollywood. Big fat fatties all over the place. Russian girls working at Subway. Uh <laughs> You're kidding me. Oh, man, they're all over the place. Me and my buddy, we almost <laughs> ran one of them over trying to <laughs> talk to her. She's running. So, do you call it hogging? Do you go hogging? Uh, no, I, I mean, my friends call them, uh, they say you go and pick up one of your fatties. And you I, do! I got a phone full of them, Tom. I got all, I got all kinds of girls with all kinds of numbers. Right then, snap my fingers, she'll be there in a second. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> hey, Tom, can, can you take me out with a, uh, a cougar and the, uh, the guy falling down dead? Uh, you mean, uh, John Ritter? Of course I can. It's 
one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Here's Ray on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how are you doing? Doing okay, Ray. Hey, look, comment. Well, number one, I want to comment about the guy about Mad. What's it called? Not very farm and the girl. Not scary for him, yes. Not scary for him. There we go. Well, number one, if he's not getting any from her, which he's not slipping the cheeser to her, somebody's giving it for her. <laughs> that's what I've been telling him. Yeah, that, well, that's number one. And number two, for the fat chicks, of course, it's uh, the ghouls and goblins come out for the fat chicks for Halloween. But if you compare the people in Southern California, well, actually California, because most of the people are Hispanic, you see, like, I don't want to say Mexican, but these Hispanic people, they look like a badly wrapped tamale. What do you mean by that? They wear, like, these tight tops, and you see, like, the rolls of Michelin hanging out of them. <laughs> now, believe me, there's girls of all colors doing that. Well, exactly, but when you go to Europe, I mean, yeah, you might see one or two, but you see the women in Europe, they're nicely fit, they're trim, but when you come to the States, you see them nice and fat and plumpy. <laughs> of course, they, they all, everybody wants to get all dressed up, all nice, you know, like a hoochie mama for Halloween. Why? Because they all want to get laid. And the guys who have not gotten laid will look for them, get drunk, and get laid. And congratulations for the guy. They got what they wanted. And that's the way it goes. And that for the fat people who don't, and who, if they don't, the fat people don't like it, well, guess what? That's what you're looking for because you want to get some. Yeah, well, that's uh, certainly true. And uh, let's face it, fat girls are your sex of last resort. Oh well, yeah, if you yeah, if you haven't, if you broke up with somebody, you know, you gotta take a hit. And say, go for anything. Go for the fat one. They haven't been with anybody. Get drunk and get laid. <laughs> Except, I think they've been with everybody. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom dot com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com The Tom Likas Show.